welcome back on my channel and welcome to the very last video of 2020. So 2020 as we all know was a weird year for many of us but things happened. Um, nothing particular big ha bad thing happened uh, in my life but I wouldn't say it was a great year. I had better years in the past so but I thought that in this video I would like to share my favourites of 2020 to be a bit positive about this year because actually some positive things happened this year such as graduating with 2.1 uh, which was I think a miracle <laughs> and also just meeting my boyfriend and these are two things I'm grateful for and third thing I would say I'm grateful for is just the fact that nothing really bad happened so far because it's Christmas Eve when I'm making this video and I hope until the end of the year nothing bad will happen uh, so I really hope so little disclaimer at the beginning I didn't cut my hair I just have a bad hair day so I just tagged them into my uh, turtleneck so it's just bad hair day and I I'm not good at doing anything with my hair I don't like myself with my hair it's in in, uh, in a ponytail or anything so I just felt like okay let's stay like this uh, so yeah let's get started so in this video I'll talk about places uh, food beauty fashion films and shows and maybe a little bit of music if I'm not going to uh, forget about that so let's get started so let's maybe start with food as we all love to eat and I think the biggest change in my diet this year was that I decided to stop eating meat maybe not stop like completely stop but to cut down on meat and I feel like I was doing really good this year at that because I just feel like I made this decision like in January, I think, January, February, so it wasn't like a New Year's uh, resolution, nothing like that. But I remember back in November eating my spaghetti bolognese and realizing that this meat doesn't taste as good anymore. So I was like, okay, maybe let's try to cut down on meat, but then I was like, what I'm going to eat then? And if someone a year ago would tell me that I would cut down on meat a lot, about 80% I would say, I would be like, huh? Are you kidding me? I can't imagine my life without that. But it happened and I'm really proud of myself that I actually managed to do it. Uh, of course, I'm not a 100% vegetarian or even vegan at this point. I call myself aspiring vegetarian because I still eat meat. Obviously now during Christmas I will eat meat and then um, I still sometimes, I'm trying to cut down on that as well to change that because I couldn't imagine my pizza without ham or chicken but I will work on that as well uh, so that was the biggest change in my diet this year so cutting down on meat so the reasons why it was just that I realized I don't like meat actually and it doesn't taste as good anymore or uh, another reason is just I just feel bad for the animals basically so that's another thing so just ethical and also ecological reason so eating meat is not good for our planet especially beef uh, so that was another reason why I decided to not to eat meat because I am trying to live uh, less waste and be more eco-friendly as much as I can uh, so that was one of the, the these were the reasons why I cut down on meat so I would say about 80% by, by this point uh, which is really good because I discovered so much good food and the thing that actually made this year easier were vegan burgers I was always thinking like what vegan burgers like why you can't call it burger if it's not meat that was also one of the things I thought before but I had my first vegan burger in London and it, was, it actually was good so that was was the reason hey this food is quite good like why wouldn't I eat that then uh, so I tried quite a lot of the vegan burgers and my favorite ones are from Iceland and 
just I'll put some pictures here of the vegan burgers that I like the most uh, so you can try them uh, so I've been trying quite a lot of vegan food also when I was going to the restaurant I was trying uh, vegan vegetarian food and it was also good when in last vlogmas you could see that we were in a restaurant it wasn't like a vegan restaurant but they had some vegetarian vegan options and those burgers were so good I swear they were so so good I can't stop thinking about them and I have a feeling we might go there again just for this restaurant just for these burgers so that was the first thing uh, about food and another thing is I know this place is not uh, is only available in few places. It's the place called Planet Donut. These donuts are so good. Kind of taste like Polish ones, but also they're very, 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 very sweet. So one is enough, really. Uh, but it's me and Barney's little tradition that every time he comes here, he brings donuts uh, because he knows that I like them a lot. Uh, so these ones, they are available in Shrewsbury and a few places around Shrewsbury, so I think Telford, Austri, I'll just leave the link for the Instagram uh, in the description box so you can check them out, but they are really, really, really good. Okay, so next category is beauty. I'm not that into beauty, I mean I like doing my makeup, but I don't to try loads of new things if I like something I stick to it basically uh, although I got some new things to try like face washes uh, that I got from Poland um, so these are waiting for me to try although I'm not trying loads of new things if I like something I just use it all the time um, but I've got three things that I would like to tell you about that I just love. So, no, it's actually more things. So the first thing is the foundation. Um, it's Bourjois Always Fabulous foundation. I know that uh, Bourjois is no more available in the UK. For some reason, don't know why, maybe it's because of the Brexit, uh, they decided to say au revoir uh, to the UK. So I got my bottles just from Poland when my sister was doing a bit uh, parcel for me. Uh, I asked her to get me some bottles, but probably maybe online you can still get them. So this foundation, I have it on my face and I just use it every, every time I do my makeup. I just love it. I like the way it looks on my face. It smells nice. It looks very natural, I would say. It doesn't this this mask effect or anything. Uh, I was working on nights out back in 2019 um, so it says it's extreme resist and it's full coverage I wouldn't say it's a full coverage uh, but I like it I like the way it looks on my face uh, so that's the first thing the second thing is the Urban Decay All Nighter so it's makeup setting spray especially now when we have to wear, wear face mask and you don't want to and uh, not to do your makeup this is helping because what I don't like is when I have my full makeup and then I have to put a face mask on like every time you put it on and take it off then on your nose there there is no foundation but this helps a little so if you know that you'll go somewhere like let's say to the restaurant at least if you're allowed obviously or because if you have to take it take the face mask off and put it on many times it's not that good, but it's helping at least a bit. Also, just for every day, if you want your makeup look nicer, then it works. Like when I used it for the first time, obviously with the combo with this foundation, uh, I spray it on my face. And if the, in the evening when I had to remove my makeup, I just didn't want to do it. Uh, I do my makeup out at the morning and then I don't do anything for the rest of the day. I don't add like uh, powder or anything because it just looks alright on my face. But my skin, I would say, is normal. Um, maybe a bit dry at times, but this all nighter is doing a great job. I have heard many good opinions about it. So when I saw it in boots, this is a 30 milliliters bottle. Yes, that's 30 milliliters. So I thought I will give it a go. 
I didn't want to get a big bottle because I'm not doing my makeup that often, like full makeup, so I thought the 30 milliliters will be enough and I just love it so if I will run out I'll get another bottle for sure. And one more thing from the beauty is my uh, Nabla glitter palette. I just love it. I have it uh, on my uh, eyes today. The shade I've got today is the Whisper. Um, Yes, is it the Whisper? Yes, that would be the Whisper. This uh, Capricorn also looks nice. I just love it. It is not very easy to work with because once they, they, this glitter will end on somewhere, it's very difficult to remove. So they're not very easy to work with and they will drop underneath your eye as well. So then you need some uh, just uh, loose powder and a brush to gently try to remove it from underneath your eye so there is a lot of work with them but just the effect they the work just the effect on your eyes is just amazing i just love it so th that would be all the makeup stuff that i like this year i mean i did, i got this snap lab uh, glitter palette not a long time ago as well as the urban decay uh, makeup setting spray but I, anyway, I love them. I just regret I didn't get them earlier, but it's a Christmas collection, the Nabla palette. Um, when it comes to uh, skincare, I've got two things. So first thing for the skincare is the Body Shop Himalayan Caracola Purifying Glow Mask. This face mask works miracles. Uh, I often have like a black ha uh, black heads on my nose and I would just use this uh, face mask and pff, they're all gone. My, my skin looks so clear. I just love it. I just need to use it more often so I can actually go through this uh, jar because it's a big jar to be honest. And it's it costs 18 pounds but it lasts long actually. At least it lasts long for me because I don't use it that often. But I should do it every week or two to actually keep my skin clear. But I just love it. If you want to just give it a try, in the body shop you can get a small um, jar. It's for six or eight pounds. So this is actually a good option that you can just buy a smaller op a smaller jar just to give it a try. If you like it, then you can get a full package. If not, then you just didn't waste too much money on that. So that's the first thing. I just love it. I'm using it for such a long time. It will be like over a year or even two and I just still love it and the second thing I would like to tell you about is a uh, uh, body scrub it's the coconut mineral salt scrub um, I got this one in uh, home bargains back in Aber Wave, and I can't find it here in Aber which is bad but I only just just to google this brand and maybe I'll find it um, I just love it it leaves your skin so smooth and moisturized so and it's a very simple uh, ingredient it just coconut oil magnesium potassium bromide chloride and sodium so i just love like the skin is so soft and so well moisturized because i know that some uh, body scrubs can just leave your skin dry this one doesn't do it and doesn't cost that much. I was thinking it was, it was about three pounds and I seriously need to get another one. I think it was my second one anyway. Um, but I just love this one. So if you can find it on your like daily shopping uh, in uh, home bargains, try it because it is so, so, so good. Okay, now it's time for some fashion. Sorry for the changing light, but I decided not to use the lamp today, so the light might be changing during this video a bit. Um, so fashion. Um, I've got only three things from fashion, but if you would like to watch the fashion videos, let me know. Uh, I'm thinking of doing some more fashion videos on my channel, as it is called Vogue and Voyage, so we need some Vogue on here, and I keep saying that, but I need to finally do some uh, fashion videos. So yeah, three things from fashion. The first thing 
are boots and these are the knee high boots and the story of them I wanted to because as you can see these are on a little hill maybe not so here you can see not so little but very comfortable though uh, I wanted to get them flat but no one to die trying to get some so I tried a pair and the zip on my calf didn't want to zip all the way up so I was like are you kidding me? I think my calves aren't that big. So I was a bit disappointed. And then I tried another pair. Didn't fit either. So I was like, oh jeez. But I really wanted them because I wanted to get them for a long time. But I, I was always saying no to myself. Like, no, you don't need it. But now I had this motivation to actually get them. Uh, so I found these pair. I tried them on. And for some reason, it is a uh, size 40. It's European 40. Uh, can will I tell, be able to tell you what the UK size it is? I think not. Uh, but anyway, it's bigger than my usual size. So I think usually I'm about five and a half, six. So this is way bigger than my usual size. Uh, but they fit perfectly. I could zip uh, all the way up. So I was very happy. So I was like, okay, let's get those. And I love them. They are so, so comfortable. On my first day when I had them on, uh, we walked for uh, 10 kilometers. So that would be about, what, seven miles? Something about that. And they were so comfortable. I just loved them. And obviously you can wear them with many things. You can wear them with jeans, but I'm not a fan of that. I wear them with... Uh, just dresses and skirts and it looks so 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 good so I just love them and I'm so happy I got them another thing is a handbag so as you know uh, most of my handbags are rather black and very simple and uh, I decided to get myself a new handbag and to be fair for a long time I didn't like this kind of handbags that are on the white strap I just for some reason didn't like them but then something changed in about May and I was like, oh, I like it. I would like to get something like that. So I ordered this handbag and I love it. Uh, I was worried if this shape won't be, won't, uh, if this shape won't let me put a lot on inside. But actually, I was so surprised when I could fit loads of things in it. So... There is loads of space, so you can have obviously a face mask, a wallet, phone, sunglasses, and even a small shopping bag with you. Uh, so I was very surprised about that. The quality of this particular one, I'll tell you the brand of it here because I don't remember now. I was a little disappointed that it was coming from China. Um, but I actually like it and the quality was quite good. So that was surprising as well that it actually still lasts. Maybe this hardware here isn't the best quality, but except from that, I like it. So I have it for like what, like seven months now. So for seven months of basically wearing it almost all the time, like for sure I was wearing it a lot in summer despite its black color, I just like it. It looks good with so many of my clothes, like is it a trench coat, leather jacket, just a winter coat, jeans, dresses, wherever you want. It looks so, so cool, so good, obviously. for more, It's ready for casual uh, outfits, not very smart ones, but it's all up to you. Uh, even with sweatpants it will look good basically so that was another handbag that I really liked this year and the very last thing is going to be quite surprising for you if you watch this channel for a while are my pair of jeans as you know I am not a fan of jeans and I hate buying myself a pair of jeans because first finding a size that will write for me that then the pair of jeans that will fit everywhere because my problem is that my waist is quite small but my hips are quite wide and I have quite big tights as well so finding something that will fit it's difficult so I have a pair of jeans that I always buy is the pair of uh, high-waisted jeans from Primark 
I don't even need to try them on, I'll just go there, get my size, and that's it. Um, but I decided in summer, was it this summer or even last previous summer, I don't remember now, I think even previous summer, I decided to get myself something different than this black uh, high-waisted jeans. I got myself these jeans um, with uh, sort of like ripped uh, legs. And I just like them, they're not high-waisted, but they're very comfortable and I managed to create some good stylization, uh, some good outfits with them. They will look good with high heels too, in like more casual outfit. Um, yeah, I remember it, was, it wasn't this summer, it was previous summer, in 2019, because I had them with me back in Poland, so it was last uh, previous, it, it was in 2019. Um, and I like them, they will look good, like I said, with high heels and a trench coat and some t-shirt for more like casual outfit for a night out with your friends but also with converse and t-shirt and like a shirt, big sweater, wherever you want, they will look good and they were comfortable so I was surprised with how many times I was wearing them instead of a dress because I feel way more comfortable in a dress um, so that was that is definitely one of the favorite things of this year obviously I was wearing a lot of dresses this year as always I can't imagine myself getting back to wearing only jeans I just love dresses so much and skirts but mostly dresses I think I have about what 20 dresses in my wardrobe at the moment so I just love those jeans though okay this video is going to be very very long so okay now quickly let, we've got two more categories it's films and shows and then places uh, just make me links for the music I will leave you in the description to my 2020 Spotify uh, playlist so you can see what I was uh, listening this year okay so places as we know we couldn't travel that much this year and I didn't fancy going anywhere abroad as well uh, but I managed to do some exploring in the UK uh, so in summer I went to Scotland um, it was just before the Scotland reopened all the visitor attractions so there weren't many people and I just love that uh, because last time when we were in Scotland last year there were so many people so many people in Edinburgh and this time it was empty so I just love that you could actually notice everything about the city and I really really love Edinburgh so it was amazing just to walk around without a crowd around you uh, but Edinburgh is not the favorite place that I would like to mention this time it's different town in Scotland it's the uh, town called St Andrews it's a town where you have the university and the university basically looks like Hogwarts uh, so I was thinking maybe I could do my masters there uh, it's a seaside town with the university it's a small quiet town but it was in summer so obviously during normal uh, academic year probably it's more busy than it was now but it was very very charming and that's a place I would like to get back to uh, my uh, on my Instagram uh, in the highlights you can find uh, some forest from my trip to Scotland this year next place is called Harrogate it's not far from where I live and I actually love this place as well we had a little one, uh, one uh, walk around Harrogate uh, from what Barney said it's very similar to Bath I haven't been to Bath yet but I like, liked it a lot it's very cozy it's, it's quite small I would say but so pretty really it was so so pretty there was a very nice big park there as well I don't know there was something very very charming about this town so I would like to get back there as well and the third uh, and the last but not least is a town called Shrewsbury I just like it there's another like charming thing about it it's quite old as well and I just like it, there is a big park there 
uh, that I like the quarry park it's so so pretty and it has some Edinburgh vibe in this park I like the architecture there and it's just so so nice so if you haven't been to Shrewsbury yet you should definitely visit this town it's so pretty I mean maybe I'm just so uh, charmed with all these towns in the UK because the place I live at the moment isn't pretty at all for me so I just I'm at home and I just can't wait to go somewhere basically um, so that's uh, probably one of the reasons why I love any other town than here uh, so yeah okay in the last but not least category is films and shows even though I watch a lot of it I couldn't just remind myself what I've been watching and enjoying this year except two, two shows for sure and um, first one is the Marvel's Mrs. Maisel um, I will leave the links to all the trailers of the films and shows in the description because I know I'm terrible at describing without spoiling too much uh, but Mrs. Maisel is a show based in the 50s so all the fashion, manners, architecture, life, everything back there it was just amazing so I just loved all the outfits of Mrs. Maisel so, so classy uh, so basically this story is about that Mrs. Maisel uh, starts to up comedy but because she's a woman uh, she faces a lot of difficulties because it's mostly men that back then were doing stand-up comedy but she is so funny and she uh, she just want to achieve her goal and she wants just do it obviously there's some of her private life as well uh, so that the, she has children she's being at the moment divorced she meets someone new so um, yeah uh, I just like it. The humor, the sense of humor in this show is just great. It's hilarious. I just love it. There are only two seasons. It's available on Amazon Prime and from what we know Mrs. Maisel will be continued into season three and four so I just can't can't wait. Another show is How I Met Your Mother. I would compare it to Friends but I've never seen friends except just few episodes when I tried to get myself into because I was like okay everyone is talking about let's give it a try but somehow the humor in this one wasn't for me it felt a bit stupidish uh, but when Barney told me about how I met your mother I was like okay let's give it a go and actually I liked it the episodes are about 20 minutes long there are eight seasons and are basically about uh, Ted Mosby uh, love life he has a group of friends like in friends and they are together always through anything uh, so again the sense of humor is great it's it's the sense of humor that I like uh, this show is quite about life as well it shows what the, uh, the characters are going through at the moment and it's basically about Ted Mosby looking for his love life. I just like it. It is on Netflix. Like I said, there are eight seasons, so it takes you a while to get through it all. When I was on season eight and I knew I have two or three episodes left, I just didn't want to finish this show. And I feel like the same as Mrs. Maisel, I think I will get back to this show at some point. Okay, another, season, another show is The Crown. If you haven't heard about it, I don't know where do you live, probably under a rock or in some cave. Uh, and if you haven't seen it yet, you're missing a lot. So this show is basically about the Queen, uh, Elizabeth II, and about the monarchy and uh, Great Britain, basically. Uh, so there are some historical events, obviously, in the show. Uh, I think it is called that it's inspired by the actual events, but obviously there's a lot of truth in that. And obviously all the like uh, conversations between the characters, like the Queen and like the Prince Charles or her children, uh, are not like one-to-one -one because that's what the uh, creator does created. Uh, but obviously there are some historical events like her coronation and the uh, war about the four clans like I read a battle battle of four clans um, some other stuff uh, but it's so great I haven't finished season 4 but for me season 4 is already my favorite one 
and there is uh, Margaret Thatcher and the way uh, this actress, I don't remember her name, but she was in sex education the way she acted Margaret Thatcher is just great honestly it's so 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 great and there's Diana as well but I feel like the Margaret Thatcher just steal the show completely and I just love it I just love the crown honestly and the, ac the accent they have is just can I have this accent please uh, another show that everyone watched probably at this point is Emily in Paris when I find out that the Netflix is doing a show about Paris and with Emily uh, no Lily Collins I was oh god I need to watch it it is very chilled show so when you had a just busy long day and you just want to chill just put it on Netflix and that's something that will be something right for the moment I like the plot twist maybe it's not super like mm, ambitious or anything like that I'm not sure how much truth in, is in that how they pictured the uh, French people but from what I've heard it's not right because I was surprised that they were showed as very mean, cold, closed people uh, but when I read uh, someone's opinion on Instagram, a person lives in French and is a French person this person just said that it is not true that French people aren't like that at all so I was like, Ugh. as you know I love Paris, I love France and uh, I would like to get back to Paris, hopefully soon uh, so I just can't, so I just couldn't believe that that French people could be like that they, they seem nice, just nice people uh, so obviously there's some her, lo her love life again and there are lots of plot twists as well and another show I watched earlier this year was Lock and Key it's a Netflix show about the family that is moving to some old, old house and the kids are starting to finding keys in this house these keys that let you do some things like open like get into your own head or someone's head or just sort of travel uh, so it was very very interesting show uh, that I enjoyed and I think there will be season two because there's only one season so I think they're going to be a season two as well so I just can't wait for it another one is uh, very uh, it's not I think it's not a popular show it's called deaf you so it's basically about uh, some uh, American deaf people that are like teenage maybe not teenagers young people that are like at uni and it's a basically about deaf community how they what their lives look like how they communicate with each other you can find out lots of interesting things in there so that it's just one season the episode is about 20 minutes long so there is some personal life on these characters because it's about real people's uh, real lives it's not like completely created uh, so that was something that I really enjoyed and I think I would like at some point to learn uh, British Sign Language because it's it's just another language that I can speak of to be honest so that's always uh, handy to, to the, the skill that is handy to have so I really enjoy this show so I'm not sure if there will be another season or not but if you would like to broaden your horizons and just watch something different that's something that you definitely should go to but what annoyed me a little bit is that you actually need to read subtitles because as they don't speak they speak with their hands so you can't hear anything uh, so you need to re read subtitles to know what's going on and the last show is called Self Made it's the story of a black, wo black woman that uh, is starting uh, her own business okay so the full title is self-made inspired by the life of madame cj walker uh, so an american uh, an african-american washerwoman rises from poverty to build a beauty empire and become hang on uh, the first female self-made millionaire and is based on a uh, true story i just loved it it was so so i think i was watching it late at night and this show was so 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 inspiring that like i said she rises from poverty and being a washerwoman to being a first 
self-made female millionaire. That's a big thing, really. Um, so there are just few episodes, about five, six probably. So that's something that you could watch of, um, when you have a bit of time and you want something that will inspire you for sure. Okay, and then I have two films. Uh, so the first one is called The Two Popes. Uh, because for the first time in the history we had two popes at the same time. I mean, obviously one abdicated, so the Benedict XVI abdicated, and his place was taken by the Francis the uh, First. If I'm saying that properly, uh, if I'm saying this right, um, but so it just shows the story and differences between them. Uh, so that was the film that I really enjoyed, and I feel like, I think it was out last Christmas, to be honest. Yeah, I think it was last Christmas when I was watching it, so it was a long time ago. Uh, but I really enjoyed that film. If you are a bit interested in the, what's happening in Vatican City, and about this old church uh, little world, and Catholicism and everything, that's something you could definitely watch because obviously it's based on that true story uh, so that's something that I really enjoyed and the last but not least film is called What If it's a film uh, with Daniel Radcliffe so it was interesting to see him in something different than Harry Potter and I really enjoyed this film I don't remember exactly what it was about okay so Wallace has had several failed relationships like we all uh, but when he met uh, Chantry, things changed. With time, they realized that falling in love, but Chantry already has a boyfriend. I really enjoy that film. Uh, so it was just a very nice film to watch. And it was surprisingly good. Okay, so that will be it in this video. This video is very, very long. So the music, I will leave the link to my Spotify 2020 playlist. But it's not the wrapped 2020. It's the, uh, the playlist I created with my favorite songs. Uh, so there's going to be some Marta Gunn, uh, Phineas. Uh, where else I've got there? Some Taylor Swift from the uh, album Lover, some Grace and Chance, uh, some uh, Fall Out Boy, just many songs that I was listening this year through different events in my life. Uh, there is Red Rum Club, uh, some Stereophonics, Mart Hagan, uh, yeah, I, there's just some things that I enjoy listening to this year, so I'll leave the link for this, to this uh, playlist in the description box. So that would be it. I would like to wish you a very happy new year to all your dreams come true next year. Whenever you want to achieve, to achieve. And I hope this next year is going to be just better than 2020, because pff, this year was horrible. I hope we will be able to travel again, that's something I look forward to and for our plans to actually happen it's not being cancelled all the time uh, because that was something I didn't like at all so whenever you want to achieve or do next year I hope you will be able to do it uh, and I hope we can just get back to our, our normal lives next year so that's something that I would like to wish to you and to myself uh, so I hope to see you very very soon and if you have any ideas for the videos I could make uh, in 2021 just leave your ideas in the comments I will for sure read them and I just can't wait to see you again and see you very soon bye <laughs>